Oh, it's been so long since I made one. I made some improvements from a previous design, and but I'm still using some pretty simple materials like tin snips, pliers, glue gun, some old cookie tin, and paper clip. And what I'm using this time is a thin plastic muffin container. And trust me, it will hold the mouse. Now I know what everybody's gonna say. They're gonna say, this isn't simple, but it kinda is. You don't have to do things exactly as I've done, but you can just follow these general principles and guidelines to make the trap your own. The paper clip will be the hinge. And once you cinch it down here um, in the door, you want to make sure that it's nice and free and that it's not bound down or you pinch it down too hard. I put a bit of a split in the door just so that uh, there's a little bit more ventilation and air and the mouse can sort of see and smell a lot better uh, through the door. Uh, the curve is there so that it will rest a little bit flatter on the base of the, of the entryway. And a little cross beam to keep it a little more rigid. and just hot glue the unit in place. Just a little note, just to make sure that the door rests flush with the base of the trap um, so that uh, the mice cannot get themselves underneath. Now this is a live trap, but unfortunately by the time I was able to check on the mouse trap, uh, this mouse had expired. The good news from this um, is that at least I know that the mouse cannot chew through the plastic, which everybody says, oh, the mouse will chew through the plastic, it's so thin, but there's no way for it to per get a purchase for its teeth or its feet, so it uh, could not escape. You'll see that that thin cookie tin is also strong enough for that mouse, it could not uh, chew through that cookie tin. I'm sorry, mouse. Well, thanks for watching, happy vermin catching, and don't forget, do it yourself, make it your own.